It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still. G'day guys, my name's Dave, and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Father and Son by Cat Stevens, which is an absolute classic. I'm going to teach you how to play the rhythm, but I'm also going to teach you how to play the solo in the bridge of the song as well. Now for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerodihero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the intro. And this intro riff is going to form the basis for a lot of the breaks throughout the song as well. So we're going to start with the G shape. It's a really lazy sort of G shape though, so your ring finger is just going to hit the 3rd fret of the 6th of the string. Now you need to sort of rest it over the fifth string as well, so that when you hit the fifth string, that that's muted. And we're just going to strum to the second string. So that's our G shape. Now we're going to strum this with a down, down, up, down. But on that final down strum, your index and middle finger will hammer on to the first fret of the second string and the second fret of the fourth string. Like that. So that only occurs on the last down strum, so it will sound like this. And one more time. And again, make sure your fifth string is muted by lightly touching it with your ring finger. So after we play that, you can choose to hold on and just let it ring out, or you can play that little riff as well. In the actual recording, that little riff is played by a second guitar, but you can choose to play it yourself if you want to. So to play that, ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string, index finger on the third fret of the first, you're gonna pluck the third and first string, and then with your pinky finger go up to the fifth fret, and then pluck those same two strings again. So that lick. And together with the chords. So that first section is played through three times and then we're just going to play that chord and hammer on without that lick the fourth time. But as I said, if you don't want to do that little lick, then you can just do the strumming and then repeat that four times for the intro. So in total for the intro. Next we get to verse number one and there's two lines of chords here. We're going to start with a G, D, C, and A minor seven. And to play that you just lift your ring finger from the C. Second line of chords is G, E minor, A minor seven, and D. Now for each chord we're going to play a really simple strumming pattern that goes down, 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 up. And in total for verse number one. So verse number one's played through three times and then there's verse one variation. Now the variation here is in the last two chords. So instead of going to an A minor seven, we're gonna to go to a D chord and that D chord is gonna be played for a short down, down, up. So it's a very short strumming pattern there. And then we go back into the riff. Now the riff is the same as the intro, except for that first section, we're not playing it through three times, we're just playing it through once. So the D to the riff sounds like this. And in total for verse variation one.
Next, we move on to verse number two, and there's five lines of chords for this verse two. Now, for our first two lines of chords, it's identical to verse number one, except instead of playing a D, we're replacing it with a B minor. Now, if the B minor is giving you a bit of trouble, then at least just focus on getting the top two or three strings, and that will at least get you halfway there. The third line of chords is identical to the first line of chords. For the fourth line of chords, we have G, E minor, and then D and G. Now that D and G are played for a short strumming pattern, the down, down, up. And then we have another G for the long strumming pattern. So the fourth line of chords in total. And for the fifth line of chords, we have D for one full strumming pattern. And then we have C for the short strumming pattern. And then we go back into our riff. Now this riff section is the intro that we learnt with the lick at the end. Play through twice. And that brings us into the solo. And in total for verse number two. Next we get to the rhythm section for the solo and there's five lines of chords. It's very similar to verse number two, except instead of playing our B minors, we'll be playing Ds. So nothing really new to learn there. And that riff at the end is just going to be us doing that lazy G and hammer on twice with no little lick. That doesn't apply at the end of the solo. So next we get to verse number three. Now verse number three is identical to verse number one. So nothing new to learn there. And then finally verse number four, which ends the song for us, is identical to verse number two, except instead of playing the riff at the end, we're just ending the song on a G. But everything else is identical. So nothing new to learn there. Okay, now let's learn the solo. And it's quite simple. There's three lines of tab here. We're gonna start with the 12th fret of the third string here, pluck that with our ring finger, and then the 12th fret of the first string with your pinky, and then go down to the 10th fret. Now that starts on the end beat after the one, so it's one and two and three and four and. And then for the second bar, we're gonna hit this 10th fret again, hold it out, and then the three note run, so 10th fret, 12th fret, and then back to 12th fret of the third string. And that second bar. And then there's a quick three note run. So it's 12th fret, 10th fret of the second, and then 12th fret of the second string. And then we're gonna do that again. And then there's another quick three note run. So we go up to 13th fret, hit that, 12th fret, and then 10th, so. And then we have a four note run, so we're gonna to go to the eighth fret of the second string, hit that, and then to the ninth fret of the third, back up to the eighth, and then down to seventh. So. And then we have another four note run here, so we go down to the fifth fret of the second string, hit that, and then quickly go to the seventh fret of the third string, down to fifth fret, and then we end that run by going back up to the seventh fret of the third string. And that takes us to the second line of tab. So from just before the fourth bar, in the first line of tab in total, one. So following on from that 
first note of the second line of tab, we're going to go down to fourth fret, fifth fret, and seventh fret of the third string. And then do that again. And then three note run here, so seventh fret of the third string, fifth fret of the second string, and then fifth fret of the fourth string. And then we have another three note run, so fifth fret, seventh fret, and then fourth fret of the third string. So. And then we'll play that again. Our next three note run is fifth fret, fourth fret twice. Our next section is a four note run, so seventh, fifth of the fourth string, and then quickly go fifth fret of the fifth and back up to the fifth fret of the fourth string. So. And so far for that second line of tab. For our next little section, it's fourth fret of the third string, and then we go up to seventh fret, and that starts our third line of tab. And then our final phrase, we go to the fifth fret of the third string, pluck it again, and then pull off to the fourth fret. And then fifth fret of the fourth string, and then two quick notes, fifth fret of fifth string, and fifth fret of the fourth string. So that final phrase. That's it for the solo. So in total, this is what it will sound like. One, And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.